Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Last Train Home. Uh, last episode, we did this asking dive mission with a full squad of 10. Nobody died, fortunately. Uh, we have a squad doing the lake mission here. We're about to send out a squad to hit up these two places. Um, we also uh, got a workshop car. And I threw just one person in there and asked them to make one set of rifle ammo. So 15 metal and 15 gunpowder. Uh, we got the gunpowder. We're hurting on metal right now. But uh, they'll make 100 rifle ammo. Uh, yeah. After that, I think we need to start doing some researches. Researching grenades would be good. Um, also, actually, okay, we... Okay, you haven't started yet. Explosive research. Grenades. Uh, we don't have the research. There are enough metal or gunpowder for that. Okay. Mm. Comfortable boots. Increase speed of deployed squads by 25%. Increase medics' limits of items based on skills. So these are bags for them to carry more things into combat. Winter uniform. Increase cold production of soldiers in deployed squads by te one temperature level. Hmm. And then advanced winter, which is expensive. Both are expensive. And improve guns. Let's start on this. Okay, right, we'll start getting the winter or heading towards winter clothing. Mm. Uh, where are we? That would be you. Okay. Lake was full of fish. We have found some. Our main problem was fighting, figuring out how to catch uh, and retrieve all the fish. Twenty-three. You return home. Uh, explore there, please. Uh, you can come up here. Not really interested in there. All right, let's just stop right here then. Report, uh... We found a cellar with coal, which made everyone happy. Uh, the burglar, dash of coins and jewelry, housekeeper, uh... Found some medicine, so we got 20 fuel, 575 coins, one first aid kit, and one stipulant. Excellent. Uh, you guys can head down here. No, you're not there yet. Uh, report. No injuries, 76 wood, good. Eighty-seven wood, no injuries, excellent. Um, where are we going? Let's head up here. Select you. We get another machine gun. Oh no, somebody we I 
The other squad's not employed. Um, merchant. I don't think I need anything. I would say I think I could start selling some rifles, but I don't have anybody equipped with guns at the moment, so no. not a chance. Oh, we got 14 grenades. Nice. Yeah, we're fine here. Um, okay, we got rat infestation going. You guys can go rest. No fish. Reporting, we did our best to catch the, at least some fish, but those slippery creatures were nowhere to be found. Unfortunate. Uh, you return to the train. Okay, let's move on. All aboard. <laughs> Arriving at the village, your soldiers were met with a warm welcome. People knew who they were and didn't shy away from starting a conversation. The soldiers soon found out that a small group of legionaries were at the local doctor's house. Uh, the situation was affected because... Sorry. Uh, Indigestion. Uh, Jeremir has the trait pregomatic. I hope we won't have to carry them to the train, not to mention that we might not be able to accommodate bravely injured men. I was hoping that they'd be doctors. Uh, don't worry, if they manage to make some uh, so many friends in the village, I bet their condition isn't that serious. The soldiers knocked on the door of the doctor's house. Loud voices and laughter were coming from inside. Still half laughing, a legionary opens the door. Dear God, I got startled seeing soldiers, but it's you, brother. Uh, ha ha ha, come in, please, the doctor doesn't mind, don't you, doctor? Uh, the soldiers followed the cheerful voices of the rest. In the back of the house, there was a doctor and three legionaries. Two of uh, them star uh, sharing one bed. Look who I brought. We're going home. Uh, the injured cheered, but the injured cheered, but the doctor started to frown. He got up, shook the soldier's hand, and immediately informed them about this situation. My soul should be at peace if I could keep them here longer. Their injuries are not life-threatening, but I don't have enough medical supplies to treat them effectively. Uh, the soldiers wanted to leave, but the doctor knew they could not just walk it off. He asked you to allow him to do the least he could if you provide him with some medical kits. He would do everything he could in the shortest amount of time. I give him two medical kits to treat the soldiers, or not spare, and we will treat them along the way. Honestly, I think we just treat them along the way. Uh, after thinking it through, soldiers decided to help the injured to the train without treatment. There was no time to spare, and the medical kits were scarce as well. The soldiers were sure your medics would do the best to heal those, uh, these poor souls. They thanked the doctor and said their goodbye. Oh, we got four new soldiers. Nice.
Uh, we got a machine gun, thank God. Sniper rifle tier one, rifle tier one. Three guns for four people, excellent. Okay. Let's see who we got. You already knew about. Yeah, you're my nighttime doctor. Okay. Jerry, Corporal. Rifleman. Cook. Anxious. Charismatic, religious, skeptical. Okay. Phobes, Lance Corporal. Uh, machine Gunner. Rifleman. Loose Cannon, Thrill Seeker, Communist, Aggressive. Andrea, Lance Corporal. Machine Gunner. Engineer. Clumsy. Thrill Seeker, Nationalist, Fearless. Vladimir, Scout, and a Cook. Self Conscious, Low Witted, Naturalist, Ruthless. Pretty sure you're my. Yeah, you're my guy, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph whatever it is. Three Grenadier. Yep. Okay. And Buzina. Here now a purple. Doctor and Cook. Dexterity Charisma. Intelligence Dexterity. Intelligence Dexterity. Yeah, it's all the points. Nope, oh, you got a point. Dexterity will power and intelligence. Will power dexterity intelligence. And Camille. All right. Fitness intelligence. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna look through some of the position like some of the jobs here Okay, so I have everyone situated so currently We have two doctors being doctors two doctors making uh, Medical kits we have two cooks Just making food So increasing our supply of food um, and we have two engineers currently working on getting us winter clothing. We only have three open spots. That's going to have to change. Um, where are we? Oh, yes. I also filled out our squad for the most part. We're lacking one person. I made this squad just to basically see who... I want to put people in the workshops and leave them in the workshops. I don't want to keep taking them out. I'd rather 
basically have people in the workshops get skilled, like, or driving the train, like the engine and all that. I'd rather have them skilled at their jobs than have them skilled at soldiering. Uh, so these are my soldiers here. And I think it's just basically these four are my scavengers, I'm going to call them. Uh, this person, and basically I'm going to have to take somebody from this one to add to there. But I need them, which will be shortly. Okay, so we are heading down to... Well, let's just head down to there. Uh, and then we're going to start upgrading... We missed that lake, unfortunately. I'm not going to send somebody back now. Um, let's send you out now. And... That was a grenadier who's doing nothing, which would be you. Let's send you out now. Can I upgrade right now? I don't need this squad. Just gonna disband it. Easy enough to make. Uh, you do this. We are short on clock. Okay. Um, back into that car. You guys can all rest. Let's start heading down here. Oddly enough, I'm going to do something. Well, I'm going to do something. You're going to find it odd. This squad here is then going to come up to the Timberlands and to this shop. And then probably come back down here to meet. This squad here is going to cross down to this lake and then meet here. Instead of this people going here and these people going here. Ah. <sighs> As trait careless, what is your job? You're my new engineer. Great, thanks. And nobody working here? Yeah. Great. Um... Report ready. It was empty as it looked. We're going to get cloth. Uh, the burglar got us some cigarettes and alcohol, probably. And we got medicine from the... Yeah, so we got 106 cloth, cigarettes, vodka, first aid kit, stimulants, and 2,000 experience. Um, you can start there. Yeah, so you still have a lot of uh, stamina, so I'm happy with that. All aboard. Uh, the safest choice to look for legionaries is the pub, so that is where the soldiers headed. It was a lucky choice. There were many people, but the right ones were the loudest. 
in the corner three legionnaires were arguing uh that is absolutely deranged why would you want to invest your time in such a way it would not be for me but for our children you do not wish for a community just for brothers in arms skeptical soldier idealist soldier and loud soldier I'd like to see you have children while dying somewhere in Sir, uh, Siberia in a fight that isn't yours. The soldiers come in close, effectively stopping the argument, but they were too curious not to ask what this is about. This communist here is m misinterpreting our beliefs, saying we are nat uh, nationalists just because we hate Austria-Hungary. Friends, we came here to take you home. We are made from the same mold, are we not? Put these personal beliefs aside. Please, I am sure we share the same goal. God, have mercy on me. Stop talking about stupid matters and being all diplomatic about it. Uh, quarry, quarreling uh, about personal options is pointless. Do you want to go home? Come, don't uh, want to go, stay. The communists sat in silence, feeling so unsupported. The rest of the soldiers were looking at each other, trying to figure out what to do. I persuade them to join you, join me home. Persuade. Uh, friends, I assure you are not alone in this belief, but I fear the situation here won't uh, probably allow you to make any difference. Let's go home. That is where our future lies. We are your people. So, because he has a communist trait. Uh, the communists feeling the acceptance stood up and together they shared a firm handshake. Others were relieved this situation got diffused and that they could stop quibbling and leave for the train. I thought it said three soldiers. Uh, we got a level one short rifle, a level one machine gun, level one handgun. Uh, you are a cook and worker. Machine gunner and engineer, medic and doctor, grenadier and cook. Okay. Hey, you're an engineer. Well, I'm glad I expanded the train because we wouldn't have gotten everybody. Uh, and we might get somebody here, too. How many spots do we have left? Five. Good God. We've lost one person, so, yeah. Um, okay. I don't know who my new engineer was. This and you, John. All right, Jan. Out, resilient. Um, close that. You're going in there. Who's the new people? I'm gonna see if we have a herbalist. Strong appetite, well trained, monarchist, caring. Focused, communist, pragmatic. Self-conscious, weak, nationalist, problem solver. Anxious, religious, and pacifist. Uh, problem solver has a solution for problems, can affect narrative in dialogues and other events. Cool. Uh, you are a doctor. And a medic. I don't know if I'm going to need you for either of those at this moment, but... 
Definitely not going to turn you away. Ah, uh, that is you. Complete. The lake was full of fish. Fortunately, Camille was with us and it was like magic. Uh, 15 food. Okay. But squad one. Might have to give them a stimulant. Eighty-two wood, not injured. Select squad. Squad two. Would like to hit up that one too, possibly. Um. Okay. So before I go in there, I'm gonna actually recreate my squad just because I want to see what I have for available weapon kind of thing. So just give me a moment here. Okay. So everyone's in that squad, everyone has weapons. That's what I wanted. Uh, Alright, Merchant. Oh god. You have a short rifle tier 2. Not complaining about that, I'm just complaining that that's the only thing you have. Now you do have 24 grand though. And I have 5 um, Mosin rifles I could sell. And three sniper rifles. There's a lot of short rifles here. Grenadier rifleman. Oh, sorry. Short rifle, rifle. Uh, I'm not selling you two. You are a short rifle for. Oh, you have a hundred of them. I was like, wait, how much? Yeah. 800. So let's take two of you. Watch, we're going to go to the other place and snap tier three short rifles. Uh, we're going to sell all of you. And I'm going to sell all of you. I have a lot of guns in place, so I'm not. I'm basically getting rid of an excess. Uh, we might keep one of each. What are we looking at? Okay. Uh, and let's sell two of you. And two of you. Um, Sorry, I'm just looking. I want some of this stuff, too. Um, I'd like more. How much gunpowder do we have? I'd like a lot more. Um, Okay, so that means I'm paying $14 now. We're getting steel or metal, gun, tons of gunpowder. And two new rifles. Uh, I say we do that. Okay.
Where are you down there? Um, can I upgrade you at all? Cloth and wood, I'm fine with that. Oh, because I threw everybody in the quad again. Do that, please. Yeah, we're going to get caught. Not much I can do about it right now. Alright, and Merchant, you have more options. Short rifle. Rifle, handgun, nothing worth it. Am I low on ammo? Jeez. Tempted to buy this. Actually, let's do so. So let's just buy 1500. Well, let's buy all of it. Okay. You return to the train. Uh, report. Lake is full of fish. Excellent. We got 20 food. Return to train. Okay. So, out of you guys, uh, that is... You guys get new rifles. You're still working, damn. Um, let's grab you. Oh, that's why. Thank you. Okay, we need to move on. So yeah, I just used up our cloth, fortunately. Uh, you're still fine, and you're researching. And I would like to research something next as well. 12 hours on that. Uh, oh my god, if, do we ever need to move? Well, let's come right up here. Just one hour to do that. That one, I think, takes a few hours, right? Yeah. Oh. Whatever. Okay, we found a cellar full of coal. Uh, housekeeping found medicine. So we got first aid kit, 17 fuel, and a stimulant. We turn to train. Enemy activity. Crap. You're going through uh, reports when you hear the faint choppy sound of an aircraft. It's sudden change into a uh, screech something you recognize from the your time in the trenches. Warns you you uh, warns you and you duck for cover just in time before the bullets tear through the roof of the car. As the sound of the aircraft disappears into the distance, you hurry to check the situation. Not the timing I needed. You're my doctor. Great. Um...
Well, looks like most of the people that are wounded are the ones with rolls, to be honest. Hmm. So, it's not the squad that I'm about to be sending out to do this combat here. Oh, you're done. Uh... Thank you. The lake was full. Fifteen. Come on. Uh, can, I'm gonna drive. Missing item in locomotive. Oh, both engineers. Okay, well, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Please leave any comments that you might have, and I hope to see you all again. Have a great day, everybody.